Good morning. We're in the book of Romans, and I want to take you to Romans chapter 6 this morning. And it says here in Romans chapter 6, he's talking about this likeness of God's resurrection that we walk in. And he talks about this old man that's been crucified, and which we understood that from last week. We also have been crucified with Christ. And we understood that was in the aorist tense. That's a one-time thing. can never be repeated. So we've already been crucified with him spiritually there on the cross. And he says that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. For he who has died has been freed from sin. What does that mean? We're no longer under the dominion of sin. Sin brings death. We're never going to die. We don't sin against the law. We don't have the law pronouncing death over us because we break the law. We're under grace, remember? Does that mean we have a license to sin? No, that's what Paul's saying. What shall we say? Shall we continue in sin? God forbid. Because you're in Christ, it's an impossibility for you to continue in sin. But, I want to talk about this morning. We do sin, don't we? We do fail. And he's going to talk about that in chapter 7. But I just want to, I know many of you are fast-tracking and you're feeling guilty and you're saying, well, this obviously I must be lost because I sin. But I want to take you to 1 John. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And you're going, oh, wait, you're contradicting yourself. That's double talk. You said we're out from under the reign of sin, so I shouldn't be sinning anymore. That doesn't mean that you don't have the power of sin in the world, in your body, and you're so used to that old world that it's hard to say you will never sin. You don't have to be under the dominion of sin, but we're so used to living in sin. He says that we say we have no sin. We deceive ourselves. The truth's not in us. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So he says, if we say we've not sinned, we make him a liar. His word is not in us. But then he tells us, my little children, if you do sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He forgives us of all of our sins. And so it is a given. You and I are going to fail God. And so I want to talk to you about that because so many people, they get so discouraged about this. They say, well, I fell. I must not be a Christian and I'll never get it right. I want to give you the example of this. Here's a mountain and you're at the bottom of it. You go one step up that mountain and you fall down. All right, what do you do? You get back up. But then you go halfway up the mountain, you fall. You go to the bottom? No, you get back up. Is it the same as falling at the bottom? No, it's not. You're halfway up. You go almost to the top and you fall almost to the top. You fall five feet from the top. Is that the same as the middle or the bottom? Certainly not. Do you go back down to the bottom? No, you get up. We're his children. We will fall. We don't have to fall. But we will by nature fall. Because sin has... What is the saying? If you want to know what the water's like, don't ask the fish. Why? Because the fish has been in the water so long, he doesn't have anything to compare it with. We've been in sin so long, many of us, before we got saved, we're so used to that in our members, answering the urges of our flesh. Somebody does something wrong to us, we'll do something wrong back to them. And it, it's just, it's so natural, this, this reactionary, letting our drives and our urges and our instincts be our boss instead of the other way around. Instead of the Holy Spirit controlling us, instead of it being in this new realm, recognizing our identity that we don't have to sin. We're in Christ and we have all of this power in us. And so what do we do? We give ourselves to Christ. In Christ. Now I'm alive unto him. I have this divine nature. I am a child of God. I'm no longer dead in Adam. I'm no longer under wrath. I'm no longer a child of the devil. You know what he says in John 17? He says, Father, he says, I want you to love them as you've loved me. And he says, can you believe that? That he loves us, God loves us, as he loved his own son. That's an amazing thing. That he loves us in that way. He says, Father, you love them as you love me. 
And we have so much going for us. You taught your kids to ride a bicycle. They fell over. They didn't say it's all over. You didn't say you'll never ride. You said you'll learn. Don't give up on yourself because you're in Christ. He'll never give up on you and you will finish the race. God bless you. Have a great day.